What is going on guys, Kieran here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers The Last Knight Deluxe Class Hot Rod. This guy is an extensive retool slash repaint of the Age of Extinction Lockdown mold, which is... Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate because like there's nothing you can really do to that mold that will make it really good I think the proportions are just way off on this guy um, The vehicle mode does look friggin cool though very nicely detailed. I wish he was uh, painted a little bit better But other than that, I think from the front this guy looks mean as shit. He's not an Aventador. He is a uh, oh, What is he? I forget the name. Someone will probably put that in the comments for me uh, Just let me know because I can't remember pretty nice looking vehicle mode. We have a nice Lamborghini badge on the front there Silver painted wheels, and we've got some red highlights throughout the vehicle mode. Nice Autobot symbol. Uh, he only has that on one side. I thought we had it on both, never mind. Underside, not, no real obvious robot parts. So, uh, yeah, pretty solid looking vehicle mode. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the Age of Extinction Lockdown figure with me to uh, compare him with. But here he is next to Drift from the last night, just so you can see how they scale. Now, he is actually a pretty decent size for a Deluxe. He's quite long. Um, it's mainly due to these parts on the back here. These are his shoulder pads in the robot mode and uh, they add a little bit of bulk and length to the car. Transformation is very similar to Lockdown from Age of Extinction but with a few added steps. First thing you're going to do is rip that off because why wouldn't you? Um, yeah, let's, let's get that back on. Let's, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Yeah, fold these pieces out. Now they are a pain. You can see that, but that one's come off as well. These kind of suck, I'll be honest. Um, I'm going to fold out the arms and they just sort of peg in under there. I know Lockdown didn't do that, but they, they peg in now. Fold these out. Do the same thing again on the side. What I'm going to do is rotate these around like that. And then on this side, these will flip up. Now, Lockdown didn't do that, so we've actually got quite, quite a remold here. Um, but I don't think it's quite enough to save the mold. Um, anyway... Fold the legs out like that, you can split those, rotate them around, and flip out his little feetums there, like that. What we're going to do is just sort of try and unpeg this section without snapping it off, rotate this around. Down the back here, this piece will come up, and that will peg onto his back. And it's kind of stiff to get it to do that, but it will peg in quite nicely. Then, just sort of fold this back, take the two halves of the, uh, the hood here, fold these up. And there you can see his little noggin. Then this piece will peg into a tab on his back there. And that actually does, to be fair, it locks everything together really nicely. And then everything can just sort of fit together. And there is Autobot Hot Rod in his robot mode. Now you can see in the robot mode, this figure definitely uh, suffers from a couple of the issues that Lockdown suffered from in Age of Extinction. Um, basically, his shoulders are way too broad, and he's got a massive, you know, big torso, and it looks like he just completely skipped leg day. Now, that's not saying this figure is inherently bad, because it's not bad. I actually do kind of like it. It's, it's much better than Lockdown. Like, I'll give it that. It is much, much better than Lockdown was. However, I think, you know, for, for a brand new Autobot that's been introduced, I think we deserve better than this. Like, you know... It's just a remold of uh, an older figure, a bad figure at that. I think the Hot Rod character in the movie was, it was very cool. I would have liked to have seen more of him. He was, he was French and it was quite interesting. He's kind of like a, a battle brother with Bumblebee. And I don't know, I just wish we'd gotten a better figure of this guy. That's not to say this guy is bad and he's not worth your money because he's much better than Bumblebee. But yeah, I just wish we'd gotten a little bit more with this guy. Speaking of wanting more from this guy and speaking to Hasbro's laziness, this guy doesn't come with any accessory whatsoever, and I'm not even kidding. He doesn't come with a gun. Like, really? He doesn't come with a gun. Lot even Lockdown came with the face cannon. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't think of a reason why he wouldn't come with a gun. Like, this figure costs extra because he's actually an exclusive. I can't remember where he's exclusive to. You can't buy him. Like, if you can't just go to Asda and just buy him. Yeah, he doesn't come with a gun, so that basically means I get to skip a step out, but I'm still going to moan about it because he ha he was like the one character in the movie that had like his own special weapon. He had a, he had a weapon that can slow time. That's not really a spoiler because I'm not really revealing much. Um, and the film's been out for ages now. But yeah, he had, a, he had like a cool little weapon where he could stop time and he doesn't even get that in the toy. Are you kidding me? And for a quick comparison, here he is next to Bumblebee. You can see this guy doesn't really scale very well because they're meant to be sort of like the same size in the film. And this guy just looks way too bulky to really scale well. 
I really do. I'm holding out hope that we get a new mold at some point because I think this character does deserve it. He was interesting enough in the movie that I think he should at least warrant his own figure. And it just kind of bugs me that we get so many Bumblebees. Like, we've got this Bumblebee and we've got another Bumblebee coming out and Hot Rod couldn't even get his own mold. Articulation-wise, he is basically the same as Lockdown. Uh, the head can rotate uh, almost 360 degrees, but it is kind of hampered by this. Uh, it can kind of look up and down ever so slightly. And the head is actually kind of cool looking. I do kind of dig this guy's design, at least with a head. Yeah, we've got ball-jointed shoulders. They can rotate 360 degrees, but they will probably pop off because the ball joints on this guy is really loose. No idea why. I think it's just down to just QC issues. Uh, the elbow can rotate, but can also rotate 360 degrees due to the transformation. No waist articulation. Now, the hips up here are really stiff on mine. Like, it's really hard to get them to lift up. Um, so it's kind of kind of a pain to pose in, but you can bend it at the knee and uh, the feet kind of pivot due to the transformation. Now, I know I've basically spent most of this video just kind of trashing the figure. And that's only because I think it's just kind of lazy that for a brand new character, we got a remold of a bad figure. And uh, yes, this figure is much better than the original mold, but still it has the flaws of that mold sort of just inherent. He it, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, if you, you can get him in certain angles, he doesn't look too bad. I think from the top up, I think he actually looks pretty cool. It's just these skimpy little legs. If he had, I don't know, maybe an extra step in his transformation, just sort of add a little panel down here, sort of, I don't know, just make him a little more bulky on the leg section. But just look how skinny they are. Um, he definitely skipped leg day at the gym. And the fact that he doesn't come with an accessory, that is bullshit. He should have at least come with something. Because it feels strange. Like, when I got him out of the box, I literally, like, he's just a transformer. Like, you don't get any accessory, no sword, no gun. It's quite strange when you unbox him just to have a figure with absolutely just zero accessories whatsoever. I will say, though, he is painted rather nicely. Like, his, uh, his crotch section there, that's painted quite well in the chest. Nice red accents throughout the other uh, robot mode, and the head is very, very cool looking, uh, very accurate to the movie. I will give him that. So he is much, much, much better than Lockdown. Um, I will leave this up to you whether you want to go out and buy him. He is a little bit more expensive than your standard deluxe because he is a little bit rarer. Because I believe he's actually an exclusive. So uh, yeah, I'll leave that up to you whether you actually feel like spending money on this guy. Personally, now that I've got him in hand, he's not that special. I'll be honest. Um, if you have lockdown, you'll basically have this guy. Uh, he's not that much different. That is it for my review of Last Night Hot Rod. Decent figure with a lot of flaws from the previous mold. So, yeah, I'll leave this up to you whether you actually want to go out and spend the uh, the twenty nine ninety nine he is on Amazon or eBay or wherever, wherever you buy him from. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.